Do you know exactly how much you're looking for for the property? No, I hadn't. You know, even thought about that. What's up, everyone? Biz Matthew here once again with another video. And in today's video, we have a live cold call. Um, as you all saw in the beginning of the video, it's just a little teaser for you all. Um, but this is actually in response to a direct mail marketing campaign. Someone called me, they didn't leave a voicemail, but I still called them back. And this is how the conversation went. Before we go on, be sure to like this video, subscribe, turn on post notification bell, and comment down below. Hey, is this Wanda? Yes. Hi, Wanda. Yeah, this is Matthew. I received your phone call today. I believe this is in regards to a postcard I sent you to see if you were interested in hearing a cash offer on your property on Homestead. Yes, I just wanted to say, you know. Yeah, yeah. I understand. Well, yeah, I just have a few questions. Is, is this a good time for you? Yeah, I guess. Might as well be. Okay. All right. How, how are you doing today, ma'am? Oh, I don't feel so good today. Oh, okay. Is it is everything all right? What's happening? Yeah, I just, I just hurt my hand and it's, it's in a cast and it's bothering me a little bit. But oh, okay. Other than that, I'm okay, I guess. Okay, okay, okay. Well, yeah, I, ho I hope you, you recover well and whatnot. Um... Yeah, can you tell me a little bit about this property? Well, it's a three bedroom, one bath. And uh, it's got right at an acre of mm. land. Okay, an acre, okay. Yeah. And it's an older house. I've been up here 40 some years. It's brick and, okay. and wood, but you know, it's an older house. Got you, got you. Totally understand. Okay. And it has got some foundation problems. Oh, okay. Got you. So, so, yeah. so the floors are sinking a little bit. Yeah, and the basement wall is uh, cracking, starting to crack. Got you, got you. So there might be I some. Don't have on me. Got you. I know that would be crazy. So there's probably some um, mm -hmm. structural issues and some some foundation issues there too okay yes i got you well other than that, that's about it. okay well yeah so you, you say you've been there over how many years you said over 40 years i've been here about 43 years mercy mercy so you always lived in no i was born in kentucky okay yeah okay got you so, so what brought you over down here to Tennessee? Well, my, I had some other sisters down here, and they got my parents to move down here, so oh, okay. it's been good. I got you. So for family and whatnot? Yeah. Okay. Okay, got you. Well, um, yeah, well, just a little bit about me is... Um, you know, I'm a cash investor. You know, I work with people who like to flip properties like yourself. Um, yeah. And so we buy properties as is, like you know. And so you like you wouldn't have to repair uh -huh. any of those flooring issues, nothing about the crack walls, and you wouldn't have to worry about your house falling, falling in on you or anything like that. Um, uh -huh. Yeah, because that would be scary to wake up and and that happening. Um, yeah, the basement, yeah. Right, right. Okay, and then, um, yeah, so we pay all closing costs. So is it just you at the property, or are you renting out the property? No, it's mine. Okay, okay, got you. And so how many square footage would you say the property is? The house? Yeah. The house is, uh, I think they say it was 1300 Okay, okay. And you said it sits on an acre lot? Yeah, it's, it's either an acre or right at an acre. It's been so long, I can't hardly mm -hmm. remember. Okay, okay. I got you. All right, and so... It sits, it sits up a little bit on a hill. 
Oh, okay. I'm a real bad hill, but... Okay. You know, on a hill, and then there's woods behind it. Got you, got you. Okay, so you have a lot of land and whatnot, and... Okay, got you. So, so when you, you know, when you decide to sell your property and move on, do you know where you're going? No. Okay. I hadn't even thought about it. <laughs> okay. I can't buy one dollar house like it is. Uh, okay, okay, got you. All right, and so are I'm you? Sure, don't have the money to fix it. Yeah, of course, I totally understand. And so, I mean, I guess you're kind of in a way looking to downsize, like move to like a smaller apartment or like a smaller. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to. I got you. I got you. Totally understand. Well, yeah, you know, I want to help you as much as I can with this property. I know. You know, you can't necessarily list it with an agent because of those issues. Um, yeah. But uh, just knowing that we can pay all closing costs and we we close pretty fast, um, usually within 30 days or less, would that be an issue for you? No. Okay, no, okay. So. Got you, got you. Okay, and just, you know, taking, you know, into account, like, the condition of the property and that it needs to be updated and repaired, do you know exactly how much you're looking for for the property? No, I hadn't, you know, even thought about that. Okay, okay. So, I mean, ballpark, do you know what houses similar to yours are are selling for? Mm, no, okay. not really. Okay. Well, that's totally fine, yeah. Um, I love to, you know, come out and look at your your property. Is there is is there a time tomorrow that works best for you? I was thinking probably in the morning around ten. No, I won't be here in the morning. That's my day to go to the grocery store. Oh, with my sister. I'm in a wheelchair and I have to go when they they want to go. Oh, okay, got you. Okay, yeah. You, I mean, you gotta get your food. You know, you gotta get, you know, uh, your different yeah. groceries and whatnot. Totally understand. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean... Well, oh, I'm sorry. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. I'm, I'm sure you've bought houses like this before where you've had foundation problems. Right, right, right. I just need to go there and actually see it for myself so I can, you know, gauge, you know, the intensity of the problem and whatnot. Yeah. Well, how much do you usually give for one that's got foundation problems? Um, it really depends. Like I would have to go out and see it, but just off bat, you know, cause I know, cause with the foundation and, and the walls being cracked, I know there's probably a structural issue too. And so I, it's just, it's just really hard for me to comp. So I would have to go out and look at the property. You don't have any idea? Um, I mean, if I would throw out a number, I would guess... You know, for your property in the area and the square footage, um, I mean, would you consider around twenty-five grand? Hmm. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. How about this? So, I mean, you say you're not available tomorrow morning. How about in the afternoon of tomorrow? Or e how about how about even today? I'm available. You know, around. You know, in the afternoon, probably around 3 o'clock. Are you available today at 3? I really don't feel like it today. My, arm, my hand is bothering me bad. Okay. I just got that cast on it yesterday. So oh, okay. I, I'm just not feeling too good right now. Totally understand. I mean, you have to recover and whatnot. Okay, so today is not the best day. How about how about tomorrow around 3 o'clock? How does that sound? Can I call you in the morning and let you know? Because I don't know how I'm going to be feeling tomorrow. Some days I have good days. All right, so that was basically the gist of the video. Um, we didn't actually confirm a appointment time. She just was, was very hesitant about that. And so she said she'll call me in about a day or two, about a day, uh, Friday morning, which is today for you all. Um, but if she doesn't, you know, of course, I'm going to call first. And so I hope you all really enjoyed this video. Um, be sure to subscribe, comment down below and like this video. And comment down below if you have any questions or, or tips or anything. 
Um, all right, and let's grow together, you all, in this wholesale community, in this real estate community, in this wealth creation community. All right, talk to you all later. Peace.